CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz, what just happened here? And now what do you do? What is that line that you're seeing there? Let's watch the case here. Routine cataract case here. Surgeon's doing a great job removing that epinuclear shell. Get that thing flipped up and aspirated nice and carefully. Looks like a pretty routine case. Good incisions, good rexes, good draping. All right, let's take a look. Coming in with the IA probe. If you're a senior resident here in the USA, it's May. You're graduating next month, or you're a fellow and you're finishing your fellowship next month. You better know the answer to this question. Watch carefully. So cleaning up the cortex. We want a nice clean capsule bag, right? Look, grab some stuff here. It looks pretty good. Now watch carefully. Cleaning up cortex again. And now, what is this? What's that? What is that? Did you see it? You better go back if you didn't see it. That is, come on, come on. Yeah, exactly. It's the capsule bag equator. The IA probe, the suction was applied to the undersurface of the anterior capsule rim, and it was pulled centrally. As a result, zoner support was broken. So you had a quadrant of, or clock hours of zoner support that are lost. Now, importantly, inject viscoelastic now. Super smart move here. Because why? If you don't, and you come out of that and let the AC flatten, you'll get vitreous prolapsing around that area of zoner loss now. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. So much great information there. Please do not email me asking for something you could actually go to cataractcoach.com for and search, and it's already right there. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Now, let's get back to our case here. So now it's going to put the lens in. The question is, do you need a CTR? Tell me, do you need a CTR in this case? You saw what it was. Maybe it's about a two clock hours of zoner loss, maybe less than a quadrant. Can you get away without a cap ring? Is there a downside of putting in the CTR? Or you say there's, there's no risk, just put it in. Well, what else could you do? Maybe let's put the lens in first and then decide. So you've got the eye full of viscoelastic. Here comes the lens. Let's see what kind of lens we got here. Looks like single piece acrylic lens. There we go. Get that in the capsule bag. Now, if you are going to put a lens in the bag without putting a CTR in, make sure you put those haptics at the area of zonular loss. So that haptic of the IOL acts as a bolster in that quadrant. So in this case, you do not need a CTR. You can just put this lens in and look where that haptic is. It's exactly nasal there, pushing up against the area of zyro loss. So that capsule or equator is being bolstered or supported by the outward force of that haptic. But look at the picture. If you rotated that IOL 90 degrees, then you would not have that benefit. So again, making sure you keep the IOL haptic pressed up against that area. So again, if you have zyro loss for a clock hour or two, Get your lens in the bag with the haptic aimed at that area so it acts as a bolster for the capsule bag at the equator and keeps the capsule nicely uh, positioned. Now, you could still put a CTR in the eye here. Again, I don't think it's necessary. It's not a whole lot of zyro loss. This is not a progressive disease. As long as you don't do any more, ish, you know, grabbing of the capsule, you're fine. Here, another smart move. Don't let the AC collapse. I like that idea also just because you never know. So let's seal up the incision here, keep that AC nicely formed. This patient will have an absolutely beautiful outcome and literally no consequence or negative sequelae from that iatrogenic uh, clock hours of zonular loss. So nice case here at the end. What's that uh, bleeding at the top of the screen? That You know what that's from? You grabbed the conscious forceps when you made the main incision, didn't you? I bet you did. You got, don't do that anymore. Your patients now, you're going to be in private practice, they want like a beautiful cosmetic result too. Anyway, thank you for p- putting up with my humor. And remember, check out our weekly podcast every week, a brand new podcast. I promise you'll learn so much. Remember there was a day when you didn't realize that you needed to watch a cataract coach video every day? But now you watch it every day and you, you can't stop, right? It's the same thing with the podcast. You don't realize it yet, but you need to listen to this podcast every week. You will benefit so much from it. Check it out.